It is October 31st, Halloween, and Mr. Al Maddox is looking to do a little trick-or-treating. We're out here at the lease. Picked it up this year. We've got some mature deer walking. We've got a, a cold front that we've been waiting on. And I wish I could teleport myself into the tree stand right now because I am so excited and we need to get in there. It's about two o'clock. I've been here a day and a half and haven't even hunted, <laughs> waiting on the perfect weather and it's on. Yeah, it's been 80, I think it was 80 degrees yesterday with a 25 to 30 mile an hour south wind. It was the same before that. Really all of October's just been kind of slow. We've picked around a little bit, but I've only been hunting like three or four times. So it's like a high of 58 today, dropping in the 30s. And our cameras have been absolutely dead for three or four days. Deer have not moved. And on the drive over here, we had some cell cameras firing, had some mature deer already on their feet this afternoon. So we are ready to go. Like a caged elephant, Dr. Pepper. Always <laughs> Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Seven. What'd you have it on? Twenty nine. Twenty nine. You just shot low. I was holding and holding just to take low. Yeah, mid body. Yep. I'm used to Alabama. Let's see what the footage looks like. I see. <laughs> Face is a little red. 
that's the deer that we came in here for. And he showed up, and we were relaxed. He messed around, he fed. And then he left the plot, but I think he was walking off another buck that had stepped out of the field. And then he stepped right back in our lap. Like he said, 29 yards, and he just shot him low, but luckily he ran over there and stopped. Boom! <laughs> Pinwielding. <laughs> I mean, pinwielding. Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I cannot believe that he stayed in the plot after you hit him. It's meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> meant to be is the only thing I can tell you. What's Chuck say? Divine intervention. <laughs> All right. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There he is. Holy cow. Crawl in there and get him. Ah. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> I said holy cow, but he is a cow. Yeah. Good gosh almighty. You've probably never seen a deer big that big, have you, Al? No. <laughs> wow. Done. <laughs> no, so I got in on this lease this year with Michael, and this is the first buck that walked by on trail camera this summer. Uh, about all uh, three or four hundred yards from here and he had like an eye infection and he looks like he's cleared up now But I called him the bad eye buck because when he walks by the camera You could see the just the black and just goo kind of rolling down his face and his neck And he was named the bad eye buck But we don't we don't know exactly how old he is Michael thinks he's you know six seven maybe even eight years old. He just never really blew up into a giant deer he was he's a beautiful deer but he never really blew up like a lot of them do and you know that's my kind of deer though you know I, if you didn't come up here age, out, age over antlers so <laughs> i didn't put you on that deer because i just wanted you to kill a deer that was going to be my number one deer i wanted to kill this year so i i said it earlier and i'll say it again it feels really good to share it with somebody that appreciates it I, it, it took me five minutes just to be able to talk I was so appreciative so overwhelmed never have I seen a deer this size ever and just the whole experience is just unbelievable <laughs> I'll go to my grave remembering this afternoon <laughs> So cool, man. So freaking cool. Thank you. Not a problem, man. I, like I said, I wouldn't want to do it with anybody else. Pretty dang awesome. You know, the, the, there's some hunts that, that just mean more to you. And this is one of those, you know, Al Maddox is a guy that I've became really close friends with over the years. Just one of those guys you got a lot of respect for. And if you ask him who he is, he's going to tell you he's a coyote trapper and a turkey hunter. What he won't tell you is that he served the country for over 30 years. He's been blown up five times, probably shouldn't be here. Got in a really bad car wreck two years ago on the way home from one of our trapping trips out west. Gosh. Yeah, 
thing of beaver lure wedged in the cup holder. Overall, one of my best friends, great guy, couldn't be any happier for him to see this come to fruition after we, you know, we, we talked about it. He drove up, we, we waited to hunt for a couple days just because the weather wasn't right. And we slide in there first afternoon and this deer walks out. You know, Chuck and I, we've talked about it over the years about divine intervention and, you know, things happening for a reason from, you know, the, the car wreck and Al surviving it, um, you know, the, the deer walking out the first day, the deer standing in the plot after a, a mishap on the first shot and just all of this kind of coming together. It's a story that you can't make up. So this is the first time you've this got the... Yep, this is the first year we got pictures of in 2017. 17. 17, yep. And how old did you think he was then? Two and two. a half. Yeah. Two, probably. My two. Mm -hmm. Best guess. Yep. And this is the next year, 2018. Definitely the same year. Again, 2018. This is the same plot you killed him in tonight. Yeah, he looks like a thoroughbred. Mm -hmm. I mean, like a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. Here he is in 2019. Let's put him at four here. Mm -hmm. The blind that you killed him out of is sitting right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 2019. Now we're in 20. 2020. This is where he's peaking. Five. Yeah. Five-year-old. 21. This is over at the Gap. Later, late season in December. 22, this is at the gap. Mm -hmm. And then this is last year, velvet, Matt's ladder stand. Actually facing, oh. facing, the blind that you killed him out of is on the other side of this draw. Right. Right over there. Mm -hmm. I think that's the last picture I've got in this series here right now. Hmm. What a deer. Old. <laughs> what a history. What a, yeah. yeah, absolutely. That, I mean, just the, to be able to look at a deer from two and a half that many years till, till and he now. he just always lived here. Matt's ladder to the Blue Gate Gap, just mm -hmm. yeah, he was it, just prevalent. It's funny that deer have their own personalities, and, mm -hmm. and some will range miles, mm -hmm. but he has stayed within just that. Yeah. That a small quarter, core. quarter mile, half mile. Yep. Mm -hmm. His whole life. Pretty awesome.